Chris Murray committed to Iowa in October of 2019 as a three-star recruit along with his twin brother Keegan. Murray played very sparingly his freshman year and only started in one game his sophomore year, but he has had a breakout season during his junior year, averaging over 20 points per game and helping lead Iowa to a berth in the NCAA tournament as an eight seed. This comes just one season after his twin brother Keegan had a breakout season and was drafted fourth overall by the Kings in the 2022 draft. Crystal isn't considered the level of prospect that Keegan was last season, but his massive improvement as a scorer, coupled with his hard-nosed defense, has Chris being mocked just outside of the lottery. With a strong showing during the tournament, it's not unreasonable to think that Chris could find himself being drafted by a lottery team. The first strength for Murray is scoring in the paint. Murray isn't a guy that plays above the rim, but he has good strength, touch, and footwork around the basket. He is capable of absorbing contact around the rim and still finishing tough shots. He also has a variety of moves around the rim outside of just using his size and strength. He has good touch on his shots, whether it be short jumpers or hook shots, and he is good at using a variety of pump fakes and pivots to create better angles for shots around the rim. Murray might have a bit of an adjustment period in the NBA because he won't be able to bully defenders quite as easily, but with his touch and the moves he possesses around the rim, I think he will continue to find ways to score effectively from that level of the floor. Another strength for Murray is defense. Murray is 6'8", weighs 220 pounds, and has good length. His official wingspan isn't listed, but his twin brother Keegan possesses a 6'11 wingspan, so it's probably fair to assume that Chris is at this wingspan as well. But in addition to just the physical tools, Murray is a tough defender both on the perimeter and at the basket. On the perimeter, he doesn't have the quickest feet, but he still works hard and slides his feet well to keep himself in front. While around the basket, he uses his strength and length to make things difficult. He also does a good job staying vertical and avoiding picking up fouls. He may not be an all-defensive type player, but he's a tough defender and will be a welcome addition to an NBA team's defense. One final strength for Murray is shooting off the catch. Murray isn't as good of a shooter when he has to create his own shot off the dribble, but when he's open and gets the feed from a teammate, he's a very solid shooter. If you look at his 3 point percentage on the season, it doesn't jump off the page. Heading into the NCAA tournament, he's shooting a modest 34% from beyond the arc. But I think this is partially a product of the fact that he is Iowa's best offensive player, so he's tasked with taking tough shots that don't necessarily play to his strengths. In the NBA, I think Murray will at least start his career primarily as a floor spacer that plays tough defense. He'll be able to spot up and take open threes off the catch. This plays more to what his strengths are versus asking him to create shots off the dribble. One weakness for Murray is vertical athleticism. Murray has good size and length. This allows him to dunk and block shots no problem, but he doesn't get very high off the ground when he does so. As mentioned earlier, Murray is still pretty strong scoring around the basket, but there are definitely moments where more athletic players can block his shots around the basket. But Murray seems to be very aware of what he is good at in this regard and what he is not. He's good at using fakes and his body to create space around the basket to help offset his relative lack of athleticism. In the NBA, he'll have to continue to rely on his savvy and strength to score around the basket because the players as a whole only get more athletic at the next level. Another weakness for Murray is his handle. Murray is capable of handling the ball enough to get where he needs to go or use straight line drives, but beyond that, he's not very dynamic with the ball in his hands. Against good on-ball defenders, he really can struggle to get past them if he's unable to bully his way in. In college, he can do this with some regularity, but in the NBA, he will likely not be able to use his size to get to the basket quite as frequently. It's entirely possible that his handle will continue to improve, but if it doesn't, he will have to be more of a perimeter-oriented player and rely on cutting to get shots around the basket. This first clip shows some of Murray's skill scoring in the paint. The play starts with Murray receiving the entry pass in the mid-range. He then puts his defender on his hip and backs him in towards the paint a bit. From there, he spins back to his left, gets baseline, and uses his size to jump backwards into the defender and create enough space to score. Murray isn't the most skilled ball handler or the most athletic, but he's very good at using his size and length to create angles for shots around the basket. This next clip displays Murray's strength as a defender. The play starts with the Indiana player bringing the ball up in semi-transition. Murray is out near the three-point line ready to pick him up. 
the offensive player decides to attack right away against a defense that isn't set. Murray keeps his hands high, slides down the lane with him to slow the drive, and then goes up vertical to block the shot at the basket. Defending a charging offensive player in semi-transition like this without fouling isn't an easy task, but Murray made it look easy on this play. This final clip gives us a look at Murray's relative lack of vertical athleticism. The play starts with Murray getting a step on his defender out on the perimeter. As Murray gets to the basket, he has the defender on his back. At this point you would expect him to elevate for a dunk or to draw a foul, but instead Murray tries the reverse layup and gets blocked. Murray is strong and crafty when it comes to scoring around the basket, but he just isn't the most athletic vertically. Chris Murray has been one of the biggest risers this season in terms of his draft stock. I doubt there are many people that anticipated Murray scoring over 20 points per game this season after he averaged 9.7 his sophomore year. Before this season, Murray was being looked at as a late first round pick, but with the strong showing this season, he's now being projected in the top 20 and is knocking on the door of being the last lottery pick. Murray to me seems like a high floor prospect. NBA teams generally know what they're going to get with him. He's going to knock down threes off the catch, play tough defense, and bully smaller defenders around the basket. But beyond that, he doesn't seem like he has a ton of potential to be a star. Murray would be a great addition to a team that is ready to contend. He's a plug-and-play guy that will be ready to contribute to a good team from day one. My NBA comp for Chris Murray is a left-handed Keegan Murray. Given the fact that the two are mirror twins, it isn't surprising that the two have similar styles on the court. Keegan is on a little bit higher of a level as a scorer, but both are big and strong around the basket and play good defense. Chris likely won't be considered for a top 5 pick like Keegan was, but he should be a top 20 pick and might even crack the lottery with a strong showing pre-draft.